Okay, so triceps, right? Triceps, right? Elbow extension. So there's the the olecranon process. So this is the movement I want you to do. Remember, guys, with that movement, I'm gonna I want to resist down here. Up here, I'm not gonna get much of a resistance. So I'm gonna palpate the olecranon process and just move posteriorly along the humerus, right? So I'm in you know the belly of the of the triceps. All right, can I do that movement for me? Boom. Now um, for the long head. The long head is going to go deep in here. So if I can locate the, um, the posterior deltoid, the posterior deltoid runs from the uh, spine of the scapula, right, and then goes over to the deltoid tuberosity. So if I go find and locate the, del um, the spine of the scapula, I can palpate the deltoid. And I can find there's the edge. I can actually feel it, the edge of the deltoid. So if I go right just inferior to it, and now I get in there deep. I have to do that again, and then I can palpate where the long head would be. What was she there. doing though? Same movement. Extended. Okay. Elbow. Um, um, well, do I have this one elbow extension? Do I have it in shoulder extension? What do I have? How do I have shoulder. it? Shoulder. I have it horizontal. Okay. It does both. All right. So uh, what I have in my notes. So let's do it as I have in my notes. She's going to do this movement. All right. That's horizontal extension. All right. So you do that movement for me, and that's it then. Okay. Everybody follows. Okay, next is going to be the erector spinae. All right, so the arms are at the sides. So all I'm going to do is palpate the spine. All right, and then right here is where the sacrum is. So I'm just going to place my hands parallel to the sacrum. Oops, sorry. When, when I, remember I told you I want to have a, a movement first. So I want you to lift your shoulders up off the mat. Lift the whole thing. Right, that's the movement. I'll tell you when. So now I palpate the sacrum. Move over to the lumbar spine, parallel to it, press the knee. Go do that for me, please. Good. That's it. Boom. Now, for the um, quadratus lumborum, right? The quadratus lumborum comes out just like this on these angles to the iliac crest. Uh, like I said, uh, inferior part of rib 12, uh, the uh, TPs of 1 through 4, right down to the iliac crest. So they're going to go on this angle. All right? So I can go ahead, palpate the sacral base. Walk along the uh, the iliac crest, um, and then the muscle is going to go up on an angle, right up to the way that rib is. So I have my hand here. So the movement I want you to do is bring your hip up to your shoulder. No, no, no don't bring it up in the air. Bring it right to your shoulder. Yes. Yeah, so you want to try to uh, you want to try to not take it off the table and roll because all you'll be doing is this, as opposed to as opposed to doing that. Uh, everybody understand? This is a hard one for them to kind of understand how to do it without lifting. The tendency is for them wanting to lift the shoulder, the hip up, and just roll, as opposed to, you know, actually bringing it up. So it would be the equivalent of trying to do this versus, uh, um, just in, or just doing that, right, when they're lifting the hip up. Everybody follows? All right, so, all right, sacrum, walk out to the uh, crest. I'm in line there with that 12. Okay, go ahead, bring that one up for me. Good, and I can feel it contract right there. Forum. Let's see. Next up, biceps femoris. Okay. Um, so with the biceps femoris, like I said, ischial tuberosity, ilia, um, uh, uh, ilia asper comes down and attaches over to the head of the fibula and the lateral, uh, unfortunately to the lateral aspect of the uh, tibial condyle. So it's, it comes down on this angle here. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I can palpate the head so I can go to the, the joint space and just move distally and over the head to so now move cross because I don't want to be right on the head because it's the tendon and I might not feel much. So I want to be a little away from the tendon so I can move just proximally and that's where it's going to be. So what I'm going to want you to do is I want you to do this movement and do that movement. Everybody understand? So I'm telling you how to flex the knee and to externally rotate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the knee and internally rotate. All right, relax everything down. All right, I probably have it down further too. So, okay, so I got my, there's the head. Oops, the head, and I'm moving a little more proximally. Right there. All right, so go ahead, do that for me. All right, bend your knee, and, and right, no, more, big time. There we go. And I can feel the tendon right there. All right, so that would be there. Now for the semi membranosis, I'll go on this side so you can see that better. All right, so what we're going to do is, we're going to have a bend the knee and internally rotate. All right, 
Ischial tuberosity comes down to the uh, medial aspect of the uh, uh, tibial condyle there. Right? So all I have to do is go into the uh, 